So, Andrew, it was a ridiculous class, of course, in uh, 2022, 29 enrollees, and no particular recruit nor recruiting class should be judged after one season. That's obviously their freshmen. They're going to have the least amount of impact as freshmen. But still, this this group is so talented. Yeah. If there's one guy, and there, there should be several guys that are going to have an impact. Now, let's not put the bar or the standard too high as freshmen that they're going to go off crazy and be all Americans or anything like that. But if there was one guy that you would be the most confident is going to have the biggest impact out of all these, what nine, five stars. Well, yeah. Who would be the guy that you think has the opportunity to make the biggest splash this year? I think it would be Evan Stewart. Um, I think, um, I think he is so immensely talented um, and his athleticism is just off the charts that I think, you know, pretty much from when he got on campus, he's been in the starting lineup at wide receiver. And so um, it doesn't take long for him to get in there. Um, I think his, his just explosiveness and athleticism, what he could do, he's, he's a, he's a good route runner. Um is always working out. I think I, I maybe I get to see that more because I see him in the Dallas area quite a bit, but the guy is always training, um, always working out. And so I don't think you really have to coach up work ethic with him. I don't think you have to coach up um, some of the things that maybe as a freshman, you might have to, you know, kind of deal with learning the playbook and those sorts of things. This guy is a hundred percent bought in. And so if there was a guy that I think has a chance to compete very early on. I think it's, it's probably Evan Stewart down the road. I think Connor Wigman's going to have a huge impact, whether it's, you know, this year, obviously there's, it's Haynes King and Max Johnson, but a year or two from now, I think that's the guy that a and really looks at that can take the cornerback position to another level. Um, he was a tremendous high school football player. Um, you know, and then you've got other guys, I mean, along the defensive line, I think they're going to find a way to play, Walter Nolan early and Shamar Stewart and Anthony Lucas, all the, some of those guys that have been on campus early on. Um, but Evan Stewart's probably the guy, I think he's just an elite athlete and um, is just going to be able to provide something to that wide receiver room, that they just frankly haven't had. Um, and I think he showed a little bit of that in the spring game. And, um, you know, I think has a chance to basically be the top option for A&M this year at receiver along with Anaya Smith. And so, um, you know, it's rare for a freshman to do that, but I, I think he's got that sort of talent and ceiling. Yeah, so it has to do with the talent, of course, but also the need at the position, talking about wide receiver. Is mm -hmm. that the position either side of the ball that you think has the most question marks and has maybe been the most disappointing the last couple seasons? Yeah, probably that. Um, Linebacker is probably a bit of a concern, I think, depth-wise. Um, would be the other one I would say I think the numbers there are a bit low they need everything to go well at linebacker this year um, they need to avoid injuries um, you know a guy like Harold Perkins that they missed out on that went to LSU that was a huge blow that was a huge 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 blow but um, I think receivers probably been the biggest question just because they haven't had a guy that can take a top off the of defense um, they haven't you know, Demond Demas was was supposed to be that guy that would kind of elevate the receiver room. He never got it together, and so um, you know, I think they're I think they're really hoping that, and I think they're really excited about all three of these guys that they signed this class. Um, Chris Marshall's a guy who's still learning the wide receiver position, um, but has all the talent in the world. Uh, Noah Thomas is another guy they're really excited about, but. I think they, they look at a guy like Evan Stewart and think this is not a guy that we've had on campus yet in, in, in four years under Jimbo Fisher. And um, that's no disrespect to the guys already on campus, but Evan Stewart's just kind of in that elite group of receivers and, and, and what he's going to be able to do. I, I think, um, I think expectations are sky high and um, I do think they want to see more out of that position.